Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Digi and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys this brand new skibbity toilet game that's still being worked on called Toilet RNG. But before I keep going, shout out today goes to the man face dude. They be first at commenting first. As you guys can tell, my camera is not working. So enjoy this photo. Now this new game is pretty cool. It's a little different than your generic skibbity toilet game, okay? There's no PvP. There's no, well, I guess it could be role-playing, but it is completely RNG, meaning random generated characters. So if I go over here to my collection, you're gonna see I already have a couple of characters. Essentially, all you're doing is rolling characters to then unlock certain things so you also have quests here for obtaining characters as well so collect five big cameramen and then you can collect your money and the using that gold coin will be over here at the upgrade station which has three upgrades right now luck roll speed and storage that is all for right now. Like I said, this game is still being worked on, okay? It is a beta game right now. But the main portion of the game is down here at the bottom. Auto roll, roll, and fast roll. I have the fast roll, but if you go ahead and do a roll, you would then, you know, it'll do like a spinning action. You will then get a character, and it tells you one in four, meaning that is the chances. It has a 1 in 4 chance of spawning in. Now, if you press equip, you can then wear it around, la di da run around with it. Now, in order to obtain the characters, you have to click equip, which then goes into your inventory. If you don't equip it, so if I do roll, if you don't equip and you do skip, it will not go into your inventory. See, I don't have now the cameraman in my inventory at all. So, if you want to keep them, at least one, then you have to go ahead and equip it. Now, if I turn off fast roll, this is actually what it looks like. It does, like, a whole, like, rolling. And then, boom. Police toilet keep? No, I'm going to skip. Now, you can turn it off. You can turn off auto roll skips owned. So, then, if you click that, it will then skip all the ones that you own. All right? You can also adjust the rarity. So what's considered rare, you can do one and six. So if you're looking specifically for a character, so for instance, if I want to, you know, keep <clears throat> my speaker men, then I have to then go and put in one and four chances. So if I go and put in one and four, is considered rare. Boom. Okay, it won't let me. Ah, there we go. You had to click enter. Then if I go ahead and roll. Well, obviously, skip that. Um, let's see. Skip. Why is it giving me? Oh, there we go. Boom. Apply and then roll. So, boom. It automatically stops at this one for me. I do want them. And you'll see why in just a bit. But you can have auto roll set like that. However, if you do that and have it unselected to where you want it equipped, then it will not save them so what you want is to auto equip them so this is pretty much what it looks like right now if i just leave it on then it's gonna go and do all of this oh wow look at that i got an old man rizzler <laughs> and there we go you can adjust it so if you really want to be able to get every single character then put it to its lowest but if you don't want that to happen then you just go back here and put in you know one in 100 is considered rare and then it will skip all the small ones now be careful you do have a limited amount of storage space so right now if you're trying to get a certain character just go ahead and delete all the other ones that you probably don't need i like to keep one of just each just because it's cool i do need the speaker man i will explain that later i don't need the tv men and i do need all of those um, I don't know. I don't think I would need dark cameraman for a while camera woman trash So let's get rid of her. Um, I'm gonna keep the toilet professors just in case. So there we go Boom, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and equip her because 
She's hot. All right. Anyways, moving on. There is crafting. This is the big portion of this game. If we go over to craft, and then you go to click on large drill man, you can't hide from this drill. Gives 50% luck boost. So, you have to craft using <laughs> the characters. Yes, that's right. The characters are the resources. So, I need three speaker men, two clock men, and two clock women. I craft it, and then if I walk away, it will turn me into large drill man. Now, I wonder if, does it save him as a character I can use later? Yes. So, you can always go back to him if you, you know, end up becoming something else. It doesn't delete it forever. So, I have a 50% luck boost. So, let me go ahead and auto roll. And there we go. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. And, yeah. Essentially, you're just sitting here rolling until you get something pretty epic. And, uh, also, just really hoping you don't lose your sanity. So, I'm going to go ahead and try out the next one. Assassin Drill Man Shadowborn. Gives a hundred percent luck boost. Clock man, I need five of them. Clock woman, I need three of them. Craft, walk away. There we are. Look at that. I am the assassin troll man who will then pretty much give me a huge luck boost. And you can see all your perks down here. This is so cool. All right, auto roll. And there we go. You can leave it like this pretty much as long as you want for any specific character and uh, right now I do recommend saving all the clockmen and stuff because the next upgrades are pretty intense so if I go over here back to the crafting if I want Titan drill man I'm going to need 10 drill women and five large drill men and somehow get the supreme cameraman from rolling so if I need five large drill men, you need pretty much times five of each of these requirements. So I need 10 clock women, 10 clock men, and 15 speaker men. So that's why I'm right now, just go based off what you need for these crafting materials. Don't save up everything yet because I don't know what the next characters are going to be. So right now... I'm just doing or focusing on the characters right now. And again, it does save it into your inventory. But other than that, I think this is a pretty cool game. It's got potential. And again, it is still in beta. So right now, not maybe all the parts of the game have been added. And some parts are being worked on. So, you know, be patient and find out what more comes from this game. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then go ahead and leave a like, subscribe down below, and join the Bad Hunting Squad today. Use star code DIGI whenever you buy Robux or Premium. And as always, stay awesome, stay cool, and good luck Bad Hunting. Bye-bye.